Hi, I'm Jerry. Today, we are going to use the Hoop Master Hooping Station, our Mighty Hoops Magnetic Hoops, and we are going to hoop a shirt. But we are going to um, add additional stabilizer to our shirt. A lot of times, um, we can get by with like one or two layers of our cutaway stabilizer that we would use for clothing. However, there are times where our fabric on our apparel needs additional stabilizer. Let's say you're using um, maybe a, possibly a dress shirt or it is a um, the wick away material um, for shirts, something where you just need additional stabilizer or maybe your design is just a large kind of a heavier uh, stitch design. So I'm going to show you how we use our Hoop Master Hooping Station, our Magnetic Mighty Hoops, and the little uh, couple of tips and tricks that I've kind of put together that I use. Again, embroider, we, there's so many different ways to do so many different things, but this is just the way I've learned to do it. So hopefully, hopefully it will work for you and um, so that way you don't have to reinvent the wheel yourself. So what we're going to do is I'm going to... Normally, I would put the stabilizer in here, but I'm not going to. I'm going to show you a little little uh, process that, that I use. So let's say this shirt, we need additional iron-on stabilizer just because of just because that's what we're going to do. Okay, so what I do is I place it for where I want the design. And let's say this, this will work just fine. Um, if we were on this side, we wouldn't need to, to uh, in essence, measure it because I know my design would be going right on top of the pocket or not on top of the pocket, above the pocket. So, but on this side, we don't have that option. So what I do is I just put my fingers in here. This is where the hoop is. And let's say this is exactly where we want the design. So then I just roughly go in the middle here, put a pin in it. Okay, we're done with the hooping station for now. Now what we do is I already have my two pieces of um, iron-on stabilizer already pre-cut. We're going to go over to the ironing board. Okay, I'm going to turn my shirt inside out. I'm going to keep my pin in there for right now. pull the shirt on. Normally what I would do too, if this was a dress shirt and before I would put down the iron on stabilizer, I would just iron it to make sure I'm not going to iron any wrinkles into the shirt. So I have my iron set and here is where I have it set. For the iron on stabilizer, I have it, I don't know if you can see it, again all irons are different. But I have it like right on between the wool and the silk setting. Again, this works for me. What I have learned is if the iron is too hot, your excess stabilizer will not peel away. So I have my iron just warm enough so it will iron it on, but I can also easily remove it afterwards but it still still serves the purpose that I need it to, to do, okay? And make sure your steam is turned off. So now that I have my pin, again, this was the in the center of where I wanted it. I'm just gonna put my finger where the pin was, take the pin out. I'm gonna take my stabilizer, iron on stabilizer, put it on there. Just give it just a little bit of a press on there. Okay, what I always do is if I'm going to take the time to iron on one piece of stabilizer, I'm going to put on two pieces of stabilizer. So rather than to place the stabilizer at the same direction, I always give it a 45 degree turn. This increases the, um, the uh, it increases the stabilizer of, of what, you're, what you're ironing on there for. Okay. Perfect, okay? I'm not, again, it's not a super, super hot iron, and I think you could just leave it and set it on there. But 
please don't critique my uh, ironing abilities. This is just how I put my stabilizer on my garment. Now we're gonna go back over to the hooping station, turn the shirt back inside out, or right side out, opposite of the way it is. Okay, we're ready to go. Take our normal stabilizer, or cutaway stabilizer, place it on the hoop master hooping station. Take my shirt, put it over the top. Make sure that my, on this case, the buttons are lined up where, where it needs to go. Set my hoop on there. Again, make sure everything is lined up where I want it. And the most beautiful thing of the whole wide world with embroidery to hoop this and you're done. No chase in the stabilizer. You know that your garment is hooped straight because we use the, the hoop master board. And you know that it is has the correct tension. And I can feel underneath here that our iron-on stabilizer is right in the middle of where we just hooped it. So again, it was just the combination of finding out where you want it first. And then I put my pin in. And the reason that I remove my pin before I iron my stabilizer on is if you leave it in, the head of the pin won't have stabilizer on it. You'll have a little tiny bump where you just ironed it on. So that is ready to go onto the machine. And the reason that I keep my iron set where I did, again, we're just gonna take this off really quick, is let's say my design is already on there. The iron-on stabilizer worked perfectly. This would have been sewn on because of the embroidery. And then what I can do is I can simply, even though this is ironed on and it gave me extra strength, extra stability for my, for my design, is I would... You can pull that right off. So, again, thank you for watching. If you have any other ideas for... Uh, um, that you would like to see any questions, drop me a note. Be love to help you. Again, that's what's so much fun about the embroidery world is we all work together. We all, we all learn from one another. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you.